Hello Youtubers, this is my third video on YouTube, this is about scrapping an all CRT monitor for uh, copper, aluminum and uh, of course cash. The whole process would take about an hour, but uh, some uh, parts of this video will be of course accelerated because I don't want uh, to waste your time. A CRT monitor contains quite a nice amount of copper, mainly in a coil around the vacuum tube. The heaviest part of CRT monitor is uh, of course the screen that is worthless, also the plastic covers are uh, of no value. The plastic cover holds together with a few screws, so unscrew them, if necessary use a force. Ok, let's see inside uh, together. Uh, there is uh, of course a screen, a vacuum tube that is covered by a coil and circuit board. There are of course uh, plenty of wires and circuit boards. This uh, CRT monitor also has speakers. Uh, at first we need to unplug or chop all the wires and unscrew all the circuit boards. Here we have the first circuit board covered with metal and aluminum. Uh, it contains lots of components, uh, some of those may contain copper. Uh, I commonly use magnet to distinguish uh, between aluminum and iron. Well, here are some copper bearing components, I think transformers and that is uh, an aluminum cooler, steel. Well, vacuum tube seems to be an appropriate name for this component. Well, there are plenty of virus around vacuum. They all need to be chopped off, uh, but it's worth it because, as I mentioned before, and the coil around a vacuum tube contains a lot of copper. Also, the wires contain copper.
here we have uh, the cable to the graphic card I assume that the pins in the connector may be gold plated Well, there is the circuit board with the broken vacuum tube. Let's keep it for later. Here we have a low grade circuit board, uh, it contains uh, components uh, that may contain copper, there are aluminum uh, coolers and there are one or two uh, crystal oscillators that allegedly uh, contain uh, silver. The best part on CRT monitor is the coil around vacuum tube. It contains quite a nice amount of copper. The best way how to uh, get uh, to the coil is uh, chop everything off and twist it. Uh, there is a winner, quite nice copper coil. Well, the speakers I'd like to sell on eBay. Uh, this wire around the screen is pure copper. Pure copper.
Well, that screen and the plastic cover have no value whatsoever. Well, there is a part that everyone was looking forward quite a nice copper coil with a ferrite uh, core. Uh, the easiest way how to crack it open is to uh, put it into some rack uh, or cloth and smash it with a hammer. Well, that ferrite core is basically an iron, but I don't know the price. As I said before, that way is the easiest way. Well, this is the best part of every scrapper's work. Uh, nice copper wire. Well, that copper coil is not uh, the only source of copper in CRT monitor. Uh, these uh, circuit boards contain components uh, that uh, contain uh, copper, aluminum and other precious metals. The other source of copper in CRT monitor is uh, that uh, cable that we mentioned before that was around the screen. It is the second best uh, source of copper after the coil in the CRT monitor.
As I said, the second best source of copper in CRT monitor. Another source of copper uh, is on that uh, circuit boards uh, in the form of copper bearing components that need to be uh, chopped off by pliers. Copper bearing components is not the only thing uh, precious on that circuit board, there are also aluminum coolers. I think this is a transformer, it also contains copper wire beneath the isolation. Well, this circuit board may look depopulated, but uh, there still are uh, one or two crystallic oscillators that uh, allegedly contain silver. Price for them is not yet set, uh, but uh, still some scrappers start to hoarding them.
Well, I think that uh, pins in that connector of that uh, computer cable may be uh, gold plated. For the last uh, speakers, uh, I would like to try uh, to sell them on some auction server uh, like eBay or something similar. Well, there is everything we gain from that uh, CRT monitor. There are uh, circuit boards, uh, iron, aluminum, speakers and copper, some copper bearing components and a box of wires. So we managed to a uh, scrap uh, 373 grams of copper that is roughly uh, 13 ounces uh, 205 grams of aluminum uh, means 7 ounces a half kilo of iron and speakers that I would like to try to sell on eBay so I assume that uh, based uh, on what we saw, the price for scrapping one CRT monitor is from 4 to 5 euro. Depends on uh, the size. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Let's see in the next episode.